to say that I talk too much and I can't help myself is like saying I jerk off too much and I can't help myself. I drink too much and I can't help myself. That's giving your power over to the thing or to the action or to the behavior. You can choose to not do those things. You know, it might be difficult because it's an impulse. It may be an instinct, but you have will. You can will yourself not to do certain things or to do certain things. There is power in speaking less. If you ever read the book, 48 Laws of Power, I don't know if it was King Henry or something, it was King Henry VIII or something like that, but one of, but one of the laws of power was say less, say less. People come to him, and he's a very powerful man, and people come to him with questions all the time, and his answer was, we shall see. He never answered anybody, he never gave an excuse, he just said, we shall see, we shall see. There's some powerful phrases that you can use, and I use them quite a bit myself. You guys might not know, but I'm kind of a quiet guy in real life. I don't give my opinion. I don't give my opinion unless it's asked for or you paid for it. <laughs> That's my gift is my talking. So I ain't just going to spill it out and give it to anybody. I don't cast my pearls before swine. So if, especially if somebody got an opinion that's completely antithesis to mine, I just say, hmm, is that so? Okay. <laughs> it irritates the shit out of people, but it's a position of power. People think they're entitled to your, to your talking too. If you're anything like me and you get into these situations, like you said, people are expecting you to talk. Well, you throw them a bone. You throw them a curveball. You keep your mouth shut and you just nod your head and say, hmm, is that so? Hmm, okay. If you say so, is that right? That's one of my favorites. Is that right? Hmm, <laughs> okay. Think about a poker player, right? And in a way, life is kind of like poker. Think about a poker player who holds his cards close to him. He looks at his cards, he reads the table, and then he makes a decision. Versus a poker player who's got his cards laid out, he's sitting back and he's making jokes. Everybody's looking at his cards. They know what he's got going on. There's no mystery at all so they can just take advantage of him. That's what your uncles do. They're waiting for you to say something so that they could jump on it. I got alpha male uncles too. And as a kid growing up, I didn't know how to handle it. My dad and my uncles, man, it would tear us up, especially when we were teenagers. You say one thing, and like for the next couple years, that's your nickname. That's your nickname now. So you start to learn, and you either cry about it, and it's like, damn. Or you learn a lesson. Oh, I see what these guys are doing. So anyway, long story short, I would make an experiment out of that. And I think one thing you're going to notice is that when you do speak, your words will carry more weight. Especially if people know that you normally talk a lot or they know that you're a thinking person. I know you have an opinion about this. Why won't you tell me? Ignoring is kind of a weakness a little bit, but quick, short wit wins the day. So if they say something, you come back with some, with, you know, agree and amplify. This is like stuff that the pickup artists teach. Agree and amplify. You agree? Oh, yeah. They say something stupid to you. You're like, yeah. And then you add more. And then it becomes funny. And then right away, you, they can trust you that way, too. When you're quick, sharp, and witty, you're more trustworthy as a, as a result as well. That's if they're shit testing you. But if they're, if they're legitimately trying to get you to talk so that you can trip over yourself, that's when you bite your tongue. And you say, hmm, interesting. Right? Let's say it's like a political conversation. And, you know, they bring up something that they, you know you got an opinion about. You just say, huh, is that right? Okay. And then they're waiting for you. I want to know your opinion. I want to know your opinion. And you just don't give them your opinion. Uh, and then you might turn out, it might turn out that talking too much is good for you too. It turned out pretty well for me. I talk a lot. I got to edit my videos back though a little bit. Sometimes I talk too much. Gain total self-mastery and control over your drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone forever. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here. And if you're seeing this ad, it's because I want to help you. If you're a married man who owns a business but struggle to overcome those late night vices that you're trying to hide from the world, including your wife, clients, and colleagues, whether it's drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone, all these vices that you're trying to hide, you know they're killing you on the inside. Plus, crippling your business and failing your family. If you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, then click the link in this YouTube ad. Because for the first time in my 17 years on YouTube, I have a program that not only makes men strong, but has the power to fix families, repair businesses, and restore faith in a world gone wild. 
but it all starts with men like you who are ready to take action. Now, I don't have enough time to explain how it works here in this short clip, which is why I put together a four minute video for you to watch on exactly how it works. So click the link here, watch the video now, it's completely free. And if you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, be the man that you're called to be, I'll see you on the inside. Done.